Hey you going guys, welcome back to the page. Today's video, we're gonna be changing front tire on the crazy car. Popped mine the other day, time for a new one. We're just gonna put the stock tire back on for now. I'm trying to save my good ones for my stall on the 27th guys, so make sure he's come down. Anyway, let's get to it. First of all, we're gonna need two 16s. I've got a ratchet and a spanner, all right? As I find the easiest way to do it. Righty tidy, lefty loosey guys. You want to make sure you get both of them undone, both bolts. So this one here, see that one's coming undone? And this one here, that one's coming undone. So you want to make sure you undo them both. So I undo them both like this. Once you get them going, do them one by hand. Undo one. I'll take this one out for you so you can see. Make sure you take your two washers off and hold on to them. Come off your bugger. Yeah. Stuck, there we go. Hold on to them guys, don't lose them. Hold on to the other bolt and just pull the nut out. Should come out pretty easy. Mine comes out pretty easy, you might have to give it a wiggle. Just like that guys, put that down there, don't lose that. Now, first thing I do is I grab the chain, I pull it off just like that guys. Pull it off like that, just pull straight off. Now, there we go. There's two spaces just in here, guys. I don't know if you can see them, but as soon as I pull my tire out, they'll fall out. Oh, there's one and there's two. There's your tire. Find your spaces. Don't lose them. That's what your spaces look like that sit on either side of your rim. One on that side, and one on that side, okay? Make sure you put them in your keep pile. Make sure you got a rag with you guys. So, leave your, leave your chain there, that's fine. I've got a rat, I've got a gadooka dooka gun. If you don't, you can use a screwdriver or a drill. Easiest way, one of these. I've got one of these guys, I brought this from Aldi's. You can go and get one from wherever you want. It's just got all screwdrivers, Allen keys, all that. So that way you don't have to use Allen keys and screwdrivers, you can just use one of these. So this is my go-to kit. First of all, you gotta take these screws off, guys. All right, let's take them off. Size two, screwdriver. Now, there's little washers on these two guys. Make sure you don't lose them washers because you need them. They're little lock washers. Take all three off. Oop, my new table, to not dirty that. Put them aside guys, don't lose them. Sorry, get that anyway. There's your sprocket. When you take this off, you want to put it on something flat and make sure it's still flat and not warped. That one feels pretty good. I don't know if it's still able, there's a tiny bit of play. Oh, I, think that's, I think that's pretty good. Anyway, make sure before you do these four bolts undone on your rims, guys, that you let your tire down. In this case, I am fine because I popped it. <laughs> Pardon me. But if your air's filled up and you undo these, you'll, your rim will explode. Make sure you let the air out first. Very important, guys. Right. This is why I like these. Pull that out. Goes from a screwdriver. Sort of number three Allen key. I'm pretty sure it's number three. Or this is number five Allen key. I think it's the wrong size. No, it's the right size. Don't lose these either guys, they got washers on them as well. All got lock washers on them. Don't lose them. You need them to put it, put your wheel back together. Otherwise, it will fall apart. Oh, magnets work a treat, guys. Audis, I brought this from. Audis. Go Audis. 
They haven't sponsored me, guys, either. <laughs> right. Now we have them four bolts done. Undone, sorry. I'll get it right one day, guys. Your rim comes apart like that. Now inside your rim is another spacer. Don't lose that either, guys. You need to hold on to this space, okay? Right. Put them to the side as well, guys. Put them there. Here's the old tire and rim. Just pop straight out. Now, if you've got a directional tire, the thing I found the easiest, look at the direction it's already going and put the directional tire on the same way. That way, when you put it on the car, it's spinning the right way. Otherwise, if it's not a directional tire like this one, don't have to worry about which direction it's going. Okay, guys? So, we'll take this off. This tyre and tube are no good. So, in the bin that goes. Here's our new tyre, new tube. You want to put some air in the tube first before you put it in the tyre, because if you don't, you will not get it in there. They're already hard enough to get in there as it is, guys, as I'll show you in a second. So, if you can't, just grab a hold of the screwdriver, Blow it up like that. Two seconds, yeah? You don't need an air compressor. Anyway, jam your tube in your tire first. This takes a little bit of finessing. <laughs> oh, as they are, you just gotta sort of pretty much jam them in there, guys. Get in there. Like that, done. Doesn't matter what this, in this case here, if your valve is pointing forward or sideways or whatever. Oh, I thought it was an issue, but it's not, guys. It really isn't an issue. I'll show you why. All you gotta do, because it's facing out on that side, I want that down the bottom. Feed it in through the hole. Might have to give it a little push. Through the hole like that, sit it in the rim, and it will sit like that, guys in the rim and it moves fine and it doesn't catch your tube or anything. It's fine just like that, okay? So don't worry about it if it's crooked like I did. Don't panic because they still work, okay? Right, so place your tire back down on the table here like this, guys. Make sure that that part there that goes into the tube is sitting in the center. That's the most important part. If it's on to the side like that and hitting the rim, it's no good. If it's in the center, that's okay, but if it's off to the side or pushing like that, that's no good. You've got to sit it in the center, guys, just like that, okay? Fall in the center, like that, bam, done. Place it down the table and it shouldn't move. That center piece before, guys, that I said that was in the middle of the rim, very important, it has to go back in now. Put that back in the middle, like so. Doesn't matter if it's center because it will move when you put the other half of the rim back on, okay? So, find again where the valve comes out the bottom of the tube on the rim, down the bottom, and that's got to match the other side, the other half of the rim. Like that, make sure your holes line up, guys. I'll give you a quick look. Just like that, okay? Just like so, and if you can see, that piece has actually moved in the middle there, but that doesn't matter. We'll fix that in a second. Thank you. Right, make sure your rim lines up perfectly. Grab your four bolts from before. Make sure the washers are on there, guys. Very important. Don't need Loctites for these if you've got these washers. If you don't have these washers, I'd put some Loctite on there. But I'd probably not use, like, I'd prefer to use these washers, to be honest, because if the Loctite jams up, you have to heat it up to get it undone, and that's a nightmare. Anyway, make sure the washers are in. Just finger tight first because there's another trick I've got to show you. Just screw it, just thread it in a little bit, guys. Make sure again, all your washers are on. Because if you don't do this trick here, guys, your rim won't be together properly. It won't be straight. Okay, grab your old axle bolt that you pulled out from here earlier at the start. This 
needs to. You can wobble it around, guys, or this is why I got this here. It's an old screwdriver that I filed down and turned into like a little pick. It's up to you. You don't have to file it down. You can use this to just get it in the right spot if you want. Just like that. Put your bolt in. Push it through, guys. All right? Make sure you push it through. Now, make sure that you, your valve is still sitting in the middle of your rim. If it doesn't, you can move it around a little bit, just like that, guys. But I get it right in the middle, like that. I push my rim together with both sides. This is why I prefer using a drill too, guys. Ready to go, straight my hand. And you've already done them up finger tight so you know they're not gonna cross thread. Just do that one up a little bit. Go across to the opposite side. Better make sure that we pinch the rim first to make sure that's properly sealed. Just a little bit. Go back to the other one. A little bit. Throttle control, guys, with the drill. Very important. If you're going to use one of these, otherwise you'll overcook everything. Right, that's all I need to do. Just that tiny little bit for now. I can take that out. Look at that. That's spinning perfectly. Moves in and out without a drama. If that doesn't move in and out without a drama, your rim is not together properly. Okay? Look at that. That's no effort whatsoever, guys. Look. That made me look like a liar then, didn't it? But anyway, look. Okay, perfect. All right, so you can pull that out now, and once again, that's going to move. Now, make sure you finish tightening up the rim. Very important. That's cool. Not too much, guys, because you can crack these rims. That's it. Just That's it. The opposite side. That's it. That's heaps. It's probably a little bit too much. Last one. Beautiful. That's together. Now, if your rims move, you can still move it, guys, see? Don't panic. When you blow it up, make sure it's still in the middle, okay? Keep stressing. That's got to be in the middle. Don't let it pinch. Look at that. That's lined up perfectly, too. I can put that bolt straight through there. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 thank you. Bet you I won't be there when I need it there, though. <laughs> now, next thing, guys. Get rid of your Allen keys. You need your screwdriver back. Right, or you can just use a normal screwdriver. Put your sprocket back on, guys. And three bolts from before. Make sure they got the washers on them. Again, no need for Loctite if they've got the washers. Hand thread them first, guys. Make sure you hand thread first. You don't want to cross thread these rims, especially this part here. This part is very critical. If you cross thread this part here, your rim is stuffed. You have to buy a whole new rim. So this part here, it seems like, oh, yes, I'm nearly done. Let's get it on. Very critical, guys. I'll show you. Make sure your washers are on. Now, this video is taking longer than it's meant to because I'm talking to this, but... Normally this is about a five minute process, okay? So we'll tighten them up first by hand, guys. And um, grab your gun. Make sure she's on forward, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Now, don't over tighten it. These are very important to use throttle control. If you're too scared of using one of these guys, I recommend using a screwdriver because this is the critical part, okay? Make sure it's on low, it is on low. Just that much, guys, that's it. Because the lock washers will do the rest. Plenty, guys, you do, you over tight that. What happens is, if you can see just in there where the bolt goes through, they split open, and then this starts wobbling left and right, and you'll never get it straight, and that's why you gotta buy a whole new rim set up, okay? So please make sure when you do them bolts up there, you don't over tighten them, because you will split your rim, you'll wreck it, and then you won't be able to go carton until you get a new rim. So, once again, you can still move the rim, so don't stress again. You can still move it, guys. Now, let's put the tyre back on the car. Make sure that your chain is where you want it. I do this, guys. 
Now, I put the tire on first. Come over here, camera guy. Oh, I'll turn it this way a bit. I go like this and make sure that you put the chain over the rim like that. Okay, it doesn't have to be, don't put it on the sprocket. Just sit it over the rim like that, guys, okay? Just let it sit there like that for now. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Now, this is where you need your axle bolt and your spacers that come out from the start. This can be a little bit fiddly and a little bit annoying, but just bear with it, guys. The more you do it, the easier it gets, okay? It's like this took me 15, 20 minutes the first time I've done it, now it takes me about five minutes, okay? So, anyway, let's go. I put the spacer on, I put the bolt through. Ah! I'm making it look hard, guys, sorry. It's not that hard. All right, and just get your first one through like that. Now, you won't be able to go any further than that because of that spacer inside of the rim. Remember that spacer we put inside the rim? Now that is floating around. This is what this is good for. You need to put this inside the hole, the other end of the axle hole here to move that little spacer around and why you're pushing on the axle bolt on the other side. And this is where it can get annoying, guys. Sometimes you've got to look through the hole to see you've got to go left or right or whichever way. And there we go, just went through. So you can see the bolt pop out there. So I've got it through now, okay? Look, as you can see, nearly all the way through. This is where you need your other spacer, guys, because that's got to go on the other side. So, might need the camera guy to come up a bit closer. So we can put the spacer on here. Sit it on there like that, guys. And it might be tight, so I just grab my finger underneath here and I lift, lift that up a little bit so I can get the um, spacer under there like that. Get it to the hole and push the bolt through. Just like that. It can be fiddly. Like I said, the more, the more, you, the more you do it, the easier it gets, but it can be very fiddly at the start, okay? Just, it's a good idea not to have kids around when you do it. Sorry about the kids in the background, guys. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, spacer. Put your washer on first. Sorry, the spacer, washer. Your washer on first, then your lock washer. Then your bolt. Now, this is important. Come down here, camera guy. Make sure that you just thread it Couple turns, right? That's on there now, right? That won't come off, but I can push it up and down. So what I do, I, that's threaded on just a couple of turns, guys. See, just that. One, two, that's it. Now I undo the other one, completely. Right, put the washer back on, put the thread, you're probably wondering why I do this, but I'll tell you why. Right, one, two. Now I know that that is absolute center on the, on, the, on, the, on the axle. Now when I tighten up both of them, it's gonna be even pressure on both sides of the axle. That's the reason why I take off both. So I know exactly where the wash, the nut is on, on each end of the, the axle. So they both come in together at the same time. Right, so then I go even turns, guys, with my fingers. Yeah, until it all tightens up. So you can't go no more. Now that's got pretty much, pretty much even pressure on both sides of the axles, okay? Grab your two 16s again. Run one way, run the other way. Now you want to put some pressure on it, guys. I put a fair bit of pressure on it because I reckon the tighter this is, just eliminates wobbles like tie wobble, whatever. Um, it just helps eliminate that process anyway. Look at that. Shouldn't be spinning with the chain on, but that spins perfectly. Well, then that's a wobbly tire, brand new tire. All air tires love to wobble. They do my head in, guys. I thought it was my headset, but it's the tires. You got a wobbly steel, check your tires and your headset. Check my video for the headset video if you're wondering what I'm talking about. 
Good tool in there too, guys. Now, let's put the chain back on, guys. So what you do is, I grab the top of the chain, like that, sit it on the sprocket, get your finger out of the way, and then just turn the wheel. There she is, she's on. Boom. Now, that tire still moves on the rim there, guys, okay? Like I said, make sure it's in the middle when you blow it up. Now, I'm pretty sure that's everything. There's your tire valve. I always put a tire valve on, guys, always. Um, just help eliminate tires going down. Now, if you don't know what tire pressure to pump your tires up to, even did I. Don't go by what the tire says. Because the tire says, I think, oh, I don't know, 30, 30 PSI or something like that, but I've been, I found out that around 40, 50 PSI is the way to go. I know it might seem like too much, but anything less than that, it, the, the um, unround tires affect the cart too much. You pump it up a little bit and it, it gets rid of a lot of the wobbles. Anyway, guys, that's today's video on how to change a tire. Don't forget to put air in it, guys, before you go for a cart. I'm not going to take it out the compressor and show you how to do that. I'm pretty sure you just know how to pump up a tire. If you don't, you should know how to crazy cart. But I'm glad you do. Thank you for joining the page, guys. If you have any questions or you need to know anything else, subscribe. So you already have, hopefully. But hit a comment down the bottom, guys. Let me know. I'll please know whatever I can. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.